It's the time of the week I look forward to. I'm sure some of you do at home as well. It's time for Polinsky Gorman. That is the Assistant Minister for the Prime Minister, Patrick Gorman, whose career has gone from strength to strength since he started on this panel. And then former MP, Jason Polinsky. Who is now the New South Wales? (laughs) Yeah, well, the New South Wales Liberal Party president. I'll give you a current title, Jason, whose career um, should have, but it still is. It's trending up. Uh, Patrick, I might start with you. The writ is issued on the referendum. Uh, The polls are just so dire. It's done, isn't it? Can't win from here. Uh, I never prejudge the decisions of the Australian people and I'm not someone who ever gives up. I'm someone who actually gets out there and campaigns. That's what I was doing this weekend, door knocking in Mount Hawthorne. We've got 544 volunteers in the Perth electorate alone. Uh, This is going to be an important conversation that the Australian people have over the next five weeks. Uh, What I know from people I've been talking to is there is interest in this proposal and there is interest in making sure that we do finally respond to the Uluru Statement. But but isn't there, I should mention, by the way, the writ hasn't been issued yet. I've got that bit wrong. I should know that. It's being issued today. But you say, I keep hearing, oh, I'm getting positive vibes. Are you not talking to the right people? Because the opinion polls are saying one thing, that this thing is is drowning in the lack of support. Don't you need to be talking to people who are saying, I've got a problem with this and turning them around? I talk to those people. I talk to people who support it. I talk to people who are genuinely have a very open mind about this proposal. Um, and what I say to people is really simple. We all know the current system is broken. The voice, constitutional recognition is our best chance to fix it. And nothing I've seen from anyone in the No campaign puts forward a better proposal to fix a broken system. And we know that so clearly. We have gaps that are not closing. We have policy challenge, policy responses that are not working. The voice will give us that chance. And uh, this is a moment to bring Australians okay. together, to have that finally get constitutional recognition. It's been on the agenda for so long. This is the chance to get it done. And again, five weeks to go. The Australian people get to decide what goes in our constitution. And I remain very optimistic about what the outcome will be on the 14th of October. I guess we had one thing, Jason, Peter Dutton, saying there'd be another referendum if he wins power on just recognition in the Constitution. Is that a Liberal Party position or a good old-fashioned captain's call? Uh, No, that's been the Liberal Party's position since 1999, Tom. I I know you would remember, as would Pat, that um, in 99, when we were voting on Australia becoming a republic, that one of the other questions was whether we changed the preamble to the Constitution to recognise the role that Indigenous Australians have played both in our nation and in this continent. And and I want to also say that a week doesn't go by when um, when Pat doesn't miss the chance to remind us all that he was out door knocking in his community and I really appreciate the opportunity that you give him to tell Australians that. <laughs> what, sorry, what am I meant to say? No, well, I, I'm confused there. Yeah. <laughs> no. what, what... What's your issue, Jason? I'm happy to have a Sky crew come down. They can get the video evidence. (laughs) That's right. That's right. Pat's out there every week (laughs) knocking on people's doors. The people of of Perth should be wary that there's Pat lurking out in their uh, their street. I feel like... I I don't know what happened for you, Jason, when you door knocked, but uh, in my community, when I knock on their doors, which I have been doing uh, most weekends, uh, as you politely pointed out, people are quite happy to see their local member having a chat. (laughs) uh, 